RGB keyboards are a dime a dozen these days, but I hadn't quite gotten my hands on one until Logitech sent over their G810 Orion Spectrum RGB mechanical keyboard with their in-house Romer G switches. I've gamed on it, edited on it, ate over top of it, and typed thousands upon thousands of words on it. Did it hold up? It did. It's a great keyboard with a steep price. At launch, it sold for $160, but now seems to hang around $114 US. It's a full 107 key keyboard with a few media keys and volume scroll at the top, along with an LED off button and a mute button. It's a full size keyboard, but not built quite as largely as some of the over the top keyboards I have used. The media keys are handy as always, though hitting the flat buttons while also typing on the much taller mechanical keys was a little strange feeling. The rubber on the volume wheel grips dust quite a bit as always. The other button at the top is a game mode switch, which disables the Windows key by default. The bottom features big rubber non-slip pads, which is nice, and two levels of risers. You have options. What you don't have the option with is the thick braided cable, not detachable. After using the WASD custom keyboards, I honestly can't understand why anyone would not put a detachable cable on a keyboard in 2017. The keys themselves feature an obnoxious gamery font, but it's definitely not the worst font that I've seen on a keyboard. There is a big gaudy G for Logitech Gaming logo at the top left. Oddly, if you don't have the Logitech Gaming software running, the G stays one color while the rest of the keys enact your last set color profile. So I have Color Wave washing over the keyboard, but the G stays the same blue until I open the software, and then it changes with the rest of the keyboard. I kind of went into using this keyboard blind, immediately following my WASD Custom V2 review with O-Rings. The key switches felt a little stubbier than the O-Rings on the blue switches in the WASD keyboard, but felt very similar. I just assumed it was another switch with O-Rings, as it sounded almost exactly the same, too. Nope! Logitech is rocking their own Romer G mechanical switches in this keyboard. Logitech claims they have shorter actuation time than Razer Greens and MX Browns. It takes a little getting used to, but I was definitely typing faster on it. Also, I always want to mention that Logitech Gaming software is spot on, and their continued integration of all Logitech Gaming products into the singular hub makes me super happy. Keep it up. Gaming on this keyboard was plenty fun too. A full RGB keyboard was great to finally have, and the keys are comfortable to use. I could rest my hands on the keyboard without accidental key presses, but it was totally easy to play on. Typing on it was plenty comfortable despite all of my hand and joint problems, and it fits my giant graffiti wrist rest perfectly. All in all, this is probably my favorite gaming-oriented keyboard that I've used thus far, though I'm not sure I would have paid $160 for it. My dream is to see them bring back the G510 or G15, but with mechanical keys one day. We shall see. We shall see. I hope you enjoyed today's keyboard review. I have affiliate product links in the description below. If you want to purchase this keyboard, please consider using them. Otherwise, smash the like button if you enjoyed the video, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and I will see you next time.